this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again for one of our, um, uh, you know, countdown to Christmas, 12 days of Christmas, um, shop your stash episodes. So I think we're up to episode three today. So with our countdown to Christmas, we're not buying gifts for ourselves or anything. We're just shopping our stash. So today I'm here in my napkin drawer and I have been so lucky because I've been gifted such beautiful, beautiful napkins. And I'm going to grab a few and we're going to make some glassine paper with the napkins. Um, and yeah, hopefully then we can do some pretty things with the glassine paper. So I'm just going to literally pick a few of the napkins. So yeah, let's just pick a few that, um, you know, I think are going to look really, really pretty. I mean, to be honest, I'm so lucky because I've got such a beautiful selection. Um, you know, and mainly I have just been fortunate enough to receive these in happy mail so um yeah absolutely you know blessed is not the word um but yeah i'm just going to literally choose a few and then we can obviously go and have a bit of a play at trying to make some glassine paper so i'm going to put the camera down now um and i will see you over at my desk because i'm struggling to actually pick some out of that back pile so hold on okay so i'm back now what i've done i've separated out the um back layers you know so that i'm not boring you all to tears cutting out the back layers so i'm now left with just my front layer of all of my napkins and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my um uh you know wax pellets and i'm going to try and make these through the um you know this baking paper so I saw this on uh, Francesca over on Junk Journal Joy. Um, I saw this on her channel and I saw it ages ago and, you know, thought at the time, oh, that looks really super fun and lovely and wanted, <coughs> wanted to come on and make some. And it's just taken me till now, really, to get round, it, round to it. So I thought this would be an ideal thing to do for part of our series. So I'm just cutting couple of sheets of my greaseproof paper so that when I do the napkin I'm going to do it through the paper and I'm hoping that obviously my napkin then will peel off from the greaseproof paper so she made it look wonderfully easy and it did all peel off let's hope that it's going to work that well for me so I'm going to put my napkin down and then I'm just going to take my pellets now again these are the yellow kind of um, you know uh, beeswax and yeah I couldn't help but wonder or wish <coughs> <coughs> oh please excuse me I couldn't help but wish after I'd bought these that actually I'd bought the white ones but again I'm not wanting to buy more things sorry I just had to stop the um, camera there for a minute because I'm just coughing um, I didn't really want to buy more things so I'm just going to use the yellow and yeah, I'm hoping that the greaseproof paper is going to just make this a bit easier to move around. So again, just getting it pressed down. Okay. Now I have to say, I'm not convinced actually that this is working as well as when I do it, you know, without the greaseproof paper I don't know you know I'm not quite sure whether I might might revert to using it without the greaseproof paper yeah she did do hers actually it was a much smaller piece um, so I can't help but wonder whether I would you know maybe find this a bit easier if I wasn't trying to do quite such a you know like the whole napkin it's obviously quite a large large area to be perhaps trying to do this but yeah we'll see anyway so and I'm just using I bought my little tiny iron from Amazon in fact I bought the um, whole thing from Amazon I bought the wax pellets and I bought the iron from Amazon as well I got it quite some time ago so yeah I couldn't tell you now um, you know what I searched for I feel like I maybe searched for embroidery iron or something like that but it's a Russell Hobbs steam iron and it's a travel iron 
Now, I'm not saying that this is the best iron, but I've seen lots of ladies using the tiny irons and um, I can't remember now what happened. I ordered one and then it arrived and there was some problem with it. I can't remember now whether it was just it was too heavy or I can't remember now. But I swapped it for a travel one and actually, you know, this seems to work a lot better for me. So, yeah. Right. So that's my piece. Now I'm going to try and peel this off and hope for the best here. Okay. So, I mean, maybe this is just a bit better. Oh, look, I've torn, torn the napkin up there. <clears throat> I've got this horrible feeling I'm going to tear it here as well. Oh, look, I am. Perhaps I should leave it to dry. Perhaps I should. Or, I'm now wondering, perhaps I should leave it on the greaseproof paper. Let's give that a try. So, yeah, maybe. Now, this is definitely not what Francesca did, so I've clearly done something wrong. I find more and more the case. I can't seem to follow um, instructions very well. I just can't clearly retain what people have done in their... Um, demonstrations so yeah finding that to be more and more the case <laughs> definitely this is another another time when I'm finding that happening right okay I'm beginning to tear the napkin now so yeah not brilliant um but that's fine so I'm wondering now whether to actually leave it on the paper now the only thing is I'm wondering whether when it cools down it will just peel off of the paper well we'll see won't we in a moment so But I'm thinking if it stayed on the paper, that might be even cooler because then we'd have the rustly, you know, the rustly greaseproof paper and the napkin, which that is lovely. I mean, look at how gorgeous that looks through there. Now, this greaseproof paper, it's definitely got a greasy side and a non-greasy side. Now, I obviously did this on the greasy side in the hopes that it would peel off. Um... So what I might do is do my next one on the non-greasy side, if you see what I mean. So let me just pull my roll back in and we will work on the non-greasy side. I mean, they both are greased, obviously, but I'm thinking, you know, one side is slightly more greased than the other. So let's just bring this in. I'm just going to cut this down like that. Okay. Let's just put that back into the box. I'm trying to be neat with my my roll before I end up, um, you know, like I normally do with it, just then unraveling everywhere and just being completely screwed up under my desk. I'm trying to be a bit neater and keep it in the roll. So I'm going to go for it this time, I think, without the second layer of the grease proof paper because I'm not sure to be honest that that helped me I feel like it maybe even hindered me ah look as it cools it is indeed peeling off of the paper so okay okay well let's just try this again so let's put my pellets on and we'll just go round like that okay I'm thinking, you know, I'm not sure whether the greaseproof paper was to protect her iron, you know, the top layer, or whether it was to, I'm not sure, maybe it was to get a sort of more consistent sort of even spread of the wax, I'm not sure. So, yeah, I'm thinking if it was to get a more consistent sort of even spread of the wax, then I'm wondering whether I should put down a sheet of the wax proof paper so like that and just go over it again and maybe that would take a bit of a film you know a bit of a filmy layer off so 
like that. And again, I'm wondering whether I should leave this to dry before trying to peel it off. So I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> you know, I can't help but wonder now whether I could just literally pile my napkins up. So there, put another one. Again, get my wax pellets on a bit. I'm probably now going to muck this up completely, but you know, kind of in my head, I feel like, well, why wouldn't this work? But we'll soon see. We'll soon see whether it works or not. Obviously, yeah, this is making it slightly harder to see because, of course, I can just see my napkin beneath it showing through. So it's kind of confusing the pattern a bit. But aside from that, I'm thinking, well, why wouldn't this work? And then I can just peel them all off together. So instead of having to have them dotted all around my desk, you know, whilst I'm making these, then they can all be piled together here on one, or in, in one pile on one sheet. So I'll just get some more of these. Now I have to say, when I bought these, I thought, oh gosh, I'm never going to use all of those wax pellets. But as is so frequently the case in my house, my daughter has had her hands on these. Now, Lord only knows what she's been actually doing with these. Um, but yeah, they were over on her desk and um, she's been using them for something. Like I say, I have no idea what she would actually be using these for because there's no way she would have used these like, you know, with the iron. Um, who knows what she's been using them for? Right, let's just cut this down again. Right. Like that. And then I'm going to, again, just do that kind of like quick iron over there that will hopefully then help to spread the wax and maybe pick up, you know, pick up a little bit of the film if it needs to. So, yeah, let's kind of do that. Now, obviously, every time I iron this, it's reactivating, you know, the wax beneath it. So, yeah, I must bear that in mind and not think I'm going to be able to just peel this off in a minute because, of course, it's not going to um, want to because it's going to be pretty hot through multiple layers now. Um, but that's fine. So this one, obviously, it's quite big. Um, just wondering whether I'd be better off doing it in two halves. Oh, no, I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Let's just go for it and see. I so hope this works because I'll be really irritated if it doesn't. And um, yeah, it would have been just a complete waste of time. But I'm really hoping that all of these are just going to then work wonderfully. Okay. And then turn this round a bit. Okay. Go to, oops, go to the edges. Mark that edge up a bit. Oh well. Oh well, never mind. Right, oops. Go down there. Okay. And right to the edges. Like that. Okay. And then do this side here. These wax pellets, they do go everywhere. I mean, maybe that was why she put the wax paper. Maybe it was to save the wax pellets going everywhere. I just found it very, very hard to iron through the wax paper, if you see what I mean, without first squishing those pellet, uh, pellets down. But that could be me, because, you know, I'm not... Um, I'm not the best with fiddly things. So yeah, that could have easily just been me who was having a struggle with that, but who knows. Right. Okay, check, I'm going over the whole thing. So, and again, I'm going to take another sheet of waxproof paper now and lay it down over. Oh, it's lovely and warm. Because my house is really cold, so uh, 
today it's really cold so yeah this feels lovely and warm on my hands i must say so again just go over the whole thing like that well if nothing else you know even if this doesn't work there's something really quite satisfying about this and for some reason <laughs> the thicker it's becoming the more layered it's becoming the more i'm enjoying it so um yeah <laughs> if nothing else if you just want a satisfying experience something nice to do this is definitely definitely worth a try i'm loving it loving 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 doing this yeah Okay, right, I don't know whether I'm going to have any purpose for this or if it's going to work, but hey, I'm loving doing it. Right, there we go. Now put my next napkin down. So I've just got, just got three more to do. So this one's a little bit on the long side, so I'm just going to cut this down actually on each end because it's got like a solid blue strip, which I'm not so keen on. So I'm just going to get rid of that and then do it again. Okay, so like that, again just going, oh do you know, I really haven't got that many pellets left. I don't think I'm going to have enough to do all of my napkins, would you believe? Yeah, this is, this is going to have to be the last one. Oh, I can't believe it. Honestly, I had so many and I just thought I'm never ever going to use up that wax. And actually now I'm wondering whether I actually had... Um more than this if you see what I mean I feel like maybe I had um, an overspill that wouldn't fit in that jar oh. Lord only knows where I would have put that to be honest so yeah I'm not sure where that would be likely to be it's very doubtful I'd be able to find it that's for sure right so I might as well try and focus my bits all on one kind of side because um yeah i haven't got enough to do the whole thing so i'll just try and do it like this instead and that way i can you know cut it down and focus on at least one one side rather than you know just having not enough so there we go right okay take that down there Right, last piece of the greaseproof paper. So across here, like that. Oh my gosh, that feels so nice. It's so warm. Again, just cut that down there. <coughs> right, okay, let's put this away. And again, just iron that over really nicely. I mean, definitely, yeah, for me, it was definitely helpful to have spread the pellets out first and then come back in and kind of go over it with the greaseproof paper which you know I can then spread the pellets out a bit better but definitely to try and spread them in the first place I found very very difficult without them being melted on first there we go okay right I'm going to leave that to dry so I've got oh got quite a few layers Oh, what's happened to my layer here? Oh, okay. So my layers were kind of peeling off a little bit whilst I was doing it. So I hadn't realised. Okay, let me just iron this out because it's got a bit screwed up. I mean, that's the quite good thing is you can just go back over these and get rid of any creases and wrinkles. So, yeah, let's just do that. Okay, right going to leave all this to dry now let's put that to one side let's pull back in this one and see if this is now going to want to come off of here easily aha right so I was definitely trying to peel this off way too quick you know it needed to dry it's still quite warm would you believe okay oh well perhaps it does Perhaps it does just get stuck in one or two places, I'm not sure. Right, well, I've not had 100% success with this, it's got to be said. I mean, Francesca definitely... I mean, I doubt she's likely to watch this video, but if she does... Francesca, I don't know how you managed to do this. 
and not tear your napkins because definitely definitely i am not not having half that luck yeah mine is pretty stuck on there do you know i think that's just where it's still wet so i'm going to leave it to dry and then come back right i'm back now i have to confess this is actually another day um because i wanted to really make sure that these were properly dried you know um yeah dried onto the greaseproof paper and of course you could probably see there it just peels straight off of that greaseproof paper now it's dry so yeah i should have definitely just left it to dry in the first place so i've peeled obviously you know these two off but i just wanted to kind of show you how easily that they do kind of come apart here so i'm just going to kind of peel off a couple of the layers like that and obviously please don't be horrified by the colors of these napkins obviously because i did these in layers you know you can see the other napkins through but you know it just comes off just perfectly and yeah so i mean definitely if you're wanting something quite satisfying to do i would recommend piling these up and um you know ironing them together because there was something really nice about um doing it and getting those thick kind of layers and i have to say this is also proving quite satisfying to peel these off so um yeah definitely definitely something quite fun and um yeah quite nice to do um so this is my last one here and if you recall we just had this where obviously we didn't have enough of the wax pellets left to go round. so i've just got kind of half a half a sheet there um you know for that sheet of glassine so obviously i'm now kind of wondering what to do with all my glassine papers um i mean i absolutely love them now i have to confess that i did have a look on youtube couldn't really find much inspiration for what to do with some of these papers um so i thought i would go and get my um big shot out now unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do this on my desk i don't think because i really can't sort of fit my big shot in here um but i'm going to go and kind of try and um uh, you know die cut some shapes and things like that and then we can have a play with the shapes that we make so I will be back after I've done that right I'm back with my pieces now so uh, what I will do is quickly show you what I've got so I've got a whole bunch of different things here um, you know small things so I've die cut some um, you know uh, cardstock kind of pieces so I've got some of my food colored card here and I've also got some of my coffee dyed card as well um, and then I've got my greaseproof pieces. Now, I've just got to quickly kind of put this out there because just in case you're going to do this, just a little tip here was if you can kind of see, some of my pieces have come out quite straggly. Um, let me find one that's really quite bad. Can you see this one? Um, so this was, I think, the first one that I did, or this could have been the torn, the torn piece, I can't remember. Um, but I did a couple, basically just the wax proof paper through you know running through the die cut machine and what happened was it obviously got stuck all over the um plates and so then i kind of couldn't really peel it off properly and i've obviously torn it i mean i'm not that bothered i think it would still make a nice piece but i guess that's something just to be a little bit aware of so what i did for the rest was i put grease proof paper underneath you know the wax proof sheet and that did improve it. Now I have to say, although I say it's improved it, this is one that did have the wax proof sheet. And you can see, I mean, I've still got some straggly edges. I mean, I guess that's going to happen because, you know, I mean, obviously this is now very waxy paper. It's not going to go through kind of 100% smoothly. Again, it doesn't really bother me because, you know, I quite like that kind of rustic look. But what I thought we'd do, I'm here at my sewing machine now and I'm going to layer up some of these little pieces onto whoops onto some of the other pieces if you see what i mean so for instance this one here i mean how cute is that now i'm hoping that this is going to stitch obviously this is a first for me so i may be um yeah may come unstuck and find it's not going to stitch the reason i'm choosing stitching is just because sometimes you know it's hard getting the um greaseproof paper to glue on so i thought the stitching would work really nicely and to be honest i thought these are going to look like lovely you know lovely pieces once they're done so i'll just kind of layer up a couple that we can do so i mean this is a bit straggly here around the edges but again you know i really don't mind that to be honest i think it looks quite nice and then i've also brought along oops just 
just get rid of that little stray piece. Um, just a couple of pieces that we could kind of maybe lay over to decorate. So I've got here, for instance, a little black flower. And I've got some of my labels. Oops. That, you know, kind of we could potentially make more of these, if you see what I mean, by laying on or lay layering on other bits and pieces. I've also got some lace here. Again, you know, I haven't tried these before. I don't know how this would look, but you know, you could build these up and really kind of make more of them. So let's have a go. I'm really praying that this is all going to work. You know, that my sewing machine is going to be happy enough stitching through the wax paper. Again, this is first, we don't know. Or I, I don't know, maybe you guys do know. Maybe you've tried to, to wax, um, not wax paper, tried to sew through wax paper before, but fingers crossed anyway. So I've just got some black thread in my sewing machine. Now I'm gonna have to put it on quite slow because of course these pieces are pretty tiny. So, oops, no, okay. It's, yeah, it's not wanting to go through that wax paper. Um, I'm going to just try again, just in case that was a kind of, you know, freak, freak occurrence. Maybe kind of something else was going on there. So let's try again with another piece. And if this doesn't work, obviously I'm back to the drawing board really. I mean, of course, we can use glue, but like I say, sometimes the glue, you know, isn't really that great. So, right, let me check my threads through. No, it's not really kind of wanting to grab there. I have kind of managed to force this one, so it's kind of going through a little bit better. Um, I have to be honest, my waxy paper is getting quite crumpled on here. I hope that by the end it's not going to look too crumpled that I've lost the shape of the bird on there completely, but I might have done. Um, I think maybe what had happened was that other side had some rough edges with the torn bits, so it was just getting kind of stuck between the wax and the torn paper. It just didn't know what it was doing. So yeah, to be honest, you know, I mean, I could possibly adjust my tension and things like that and, you know, perhaps have a bit more success. But having said that, it has gone through. So, you know, it's it's been successful enough. So what we could do is obviously build this up now with a bit of lace and things like that. So just take my lace here. So, I mean, we could have like a bit of lace down the bottom hanging out there or over. I quite like it over to be honest. I think it's quite nice. Just wondering whether it needs to be slightly smaller so I'm going to cut that down slightly more because this is a wide you know wide piece of lace so I mean I could even have it down the down the entire edge but I don't think I want it down the entire edge. I kind of prefer it just ruffled there in the corner so right fingers crossed fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to stitch this in place. Hold on. Always a bit nerve wracking sewing on camera because <laughs> you know I'm just as likely to have an accident with the sewing machine to be honest. Uh, I mean, I mean, with my thumb, my thumb and the sewing machine. Um, yeah, don't just mean an accident with the sewing machine per se. So, I mean, how cute does that look? And you've got that lovely kind of waxy film there, um, you know, which looks really sweet, doesn't it? Now, I'm just wondering whether. I could incorporate a little label on here so just brought my labels along I mean to be honest that green one would go perfectly but it's a little bit on the big side so let me just cut this one out quickly so I hope everyone's having a good day I apologize if I've already said that but obviously I'm filming this on a different day so um I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't. So, yeah, I do apologise. I mean, for me, this is a couple of days later. So, I feel like it's a whole new video. Plus, it's been very stop and start because I've obviously, you know, dug the napkins out. I did the, um, you know, thingamajiggly. Oh, how gorgeous does that look just on there? So, again, right, now this one I'm going to just kind of see if I can stitch around this. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to stitch around this shape very well, but oh well. It is what it is. 
I mean, to be honest, I probably could have actually gone in with my hot glue for this one. I wonder if I could even go smaller with my stitches. Right, so I have not made a very good job of sewing this. It's got to be said, it looks pretty rubbish. Yeah, definitely probably should have gone and just glued this piece on, but hey, never mind. Never mind. Let's just take that out of there. Okay. Oops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because what's happened, I've had to go pretty small with my stitching and now my stitches are kind of making big um, marks in the paper, if that makes sense. So, you know, it just doesn't look very, very elegant. It looks a little bit unsightly, I think. So, and we've just got a bit where it got a bit caught there as well. So, uh, not not the best, it's got to be said. But, I mean, overall, I quite like the, you know, the idea of it and the piece. So let's have a go with the next one and see if I can make a bit of a better job. Who knows? Who knows what I can? Right, so what I might do is try and just stitch that frame in just like that. And actually, I'm just wondering if I get some lace now, whether again I could just stitch that all in one go. I, just, I might be being a bit ambitious here, but... I just wonder, just wondered whether I could do that, like that. So if I start on this piece down here, okay, I mean actually to be fair it's going through that a lot better because it's got something between the wax paper and the needle. So, I mean, actually, if anything, that lace. Oh, right. This is one of the torn pieces. So can you see what's happened? It's, yeah, it's uh, not happy here. So I'm just going to have to kind of place that down and just try and stitch it down now. Oh, it's now getting stuck. Oh, this one's not worked at all. Right. OK, so the tip here is try not to use torn pieces because they're not going to really be very happy. Um... Right, so I'm going to tear that off. Right, let's get rid of these stitches here. Okay, what I'm going to try and do is stitch around here. Because, you know, lo and behold that I would actually now not use this, you know. <laughs> I want to obviously try and salvage it somehow. So I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go up this side. So let's try that first oh it's just oh it's just not wanting to to do it okay so it might have been beginner's luck with the last one <clears throat> right okay let's try again let's try from the top down no it's just literally it's pulling it all around to be honest um Mm. This is such a shame. Oh, I'm just making such a mess of this one now. It looks awful. Absolutely awful. Right, let me try and pull that out. I mean, I, I should have actually held these in place with a bit of glue. And that would have probably helped here. So let's try one more time. No, it's just moving it all around. Okay, right, let's scrap that. I mean, to be honest, weirdly, I actually quite like it even just torn on there. Um, yeah, I think it's actually quite nice even just with the torn piece. That's not obviously the look that I was going for, but I still quite like it. Um, right, let me just see. got some glue here. I've got my Fabri-Tac over here by my sewing machine. And it's been here for a few weeks. I'm not even sure whether it's going to want to come out. Okay. And I still haven't bought any more. So there's barely any in here. And it's very thick. But I'm just kind of wondering if I could get it glued down to a point where it's not then moving around every time I try and stitch it. <clears throat> okay. Right, I'm going to just leave that glue to dry for a couple of minutes and um, we'll come back to this one. So let me do another one 
whilst we wait. So I'm just going to put that to the side. Okay, let's pull in one of those other ones. And again, I'm going to try and actually glue it in place because I think maybe, you know, even if the glue, uh, the glue wouldn't hold it long term, it's going to just help to enable us to sew it. So, right, let's take this little bird. So like that, and let me just see, see whether I've got any. Hmm, what do we think on the, I don't actually like him on there very much. Um, I've also got these little postage stamp ones. Now this is quite a new die cut for me. Um, I just bought it quite recently, but yeah, they're like little postage stamps. And I thought they're really cute, aren't they? But weirdly, I actually quite like it layered onto that piece. I think that looks really nice. I wouldn't have expected it to look good, but yeah, it does look quite cute on there. I'm just wondering whether whether I could have any black lace because that's just you know me I do like a piece of black lace piece of black lace anyway uh, a bit of black lace if I can incorporate black lace somewhere I always love it <clears throat> so oh that's like swamping that piece isn't it okay let's just cut this down here Okay. Yeah, I mean that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So let me just use a bit of Fabri-Tac here to hold it in place on the on the base here. <clears throat> And I mean, that lace is kind of overhanging that piece all over, but how gorgeous does that look? Really, really, really love that. So let's have a look and see if we've just got one or two more pieces that we can quickly do, you know, whilst we're waiting for those to dry. So let me see what else I've got here. I've got another one of these and, oh, that's the same size as that. Okay. Right, so that looks quite nice on there. So again, I'm going to glue this down. Um, and then I might just have some lace kind of on the edge of this one. So let's glue this down. Whoops. Now this one, if you can see, it's got some paper kind of like stuck around the edges of it. Now I'm going to leave those on there rather than peel them off because I'm wondering if actually they might help the um you know needle to go through again i don't know this is all just kind of you know trial and error type stuff going on here but but hey that's what it's all about isn't it trial and error sometimes you know because you don't know if you don't try so i'm just going to have that bit of lace to the side there and then i wonder whether i've got oops, anything else so I'm just going to put the pin back in. Um, I've also got some more of the postage stamps, which now I'm thinking, I wonder. I could just layer that up. No. No. Thanks. Okay. have that there I mean it does need inking and yeah I don't want to have to stop the video again to go and actually ink this but without the inking I don't think it's really kind of making enough of a a statement on there really um I mean I could have it on its own I suppose that's not too bad uh let me just have a look and see what else I've got um hmm. Like I say, I have bought some of my labels along. And of course, none of them are the right colours. Let me just try this one. Oops. 
so peaceful. My son's gone off to work already. I'm filming this on a Saturday. I don't that often film on a Saturday, but I've um, not managed to do many videos this week because I was busy kind of with other things. And um, yeah, so I wanted to get caught up a bit with some some videos. So hence, obviously, I hadn't finished this video um, earlier on in the week. Oh, come on. Oh, that looks lovely. Absolutely lovely. Just wonder. No, yeah, I'm going to have that down there. So let's hope that I make a better job of sewing through this label than I did on that other one. So again, I'm going to just glue this in place in the first instance. And yeah, I'm just really hoping that I'm going to make a bit of a better job of it. Okay, right. Hopefully some of my bits have um, begun to dry now. So let's just pull pull them back in and try and stitch around them. So I'm just going to put that one to the side. Oh, I'm so sorry for jogging the table. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's very tight on my table, I'm afraid. So um, yeah, really, really sorry about that. Right, now this one, I'm wondering... Yeah, I'm going to just try and still stitch it through the... Um, you know, around the edge. Oh, do you know, I'm thinking perhaps the stitch length is too small. Because I changed the stitch length, thinking smaller would be better. But actually I'm thinking maybe it's too small. Oh, come on. Right, let's try again. No, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so annoying. I just can't get this one to work at all. Ugh. Honestly, I'm gutted because these are really cute, you know, um, if they would work. So now I'm thinking maybe just go with a straight stitch across or just maybe even a stitch straight through the middle. Do you know, I'm going to do that. Let's try a um, zigzag just straight through the middle. No, it's. Do you see what's happened? As soon as I went to stitch in there, it just moved the um, the wax paper. I guess what I should have done was glued it right to the edge, because I've obviously glued it in the middle and not on the edge. Let me try from this angle. Okay, that's a bit better. Oh, that's got stuck there, but I can manage to pull it through. Perhaps. Oh no! Did you see what's happened? Right, not good, not good at all, because all that happened was my piece of paper got torn completely here. Right, okay, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac and stick this back on. Um, right, so the lesson here appears to be, oh gosh, I'm so rubbish with my Roman numerals, I'm not sure which way round that's supposed to be, it must be that way. Um, yeah, the lesson here is use your fabric tack or your glue and go right round to the edges. It needs to be obviously right. Oh, oh, now I'm thinking that is not right, is it? That's not right. Oh, must have been meant to be that way. Oh, gosh. To say I'm mucking this up is such an understatement, honestly. Um, Yes, you're going to have to glue your pieces right down, I think, if you're wanting to stitch them, because they are not going to want to stitch otherwise. So, yeah. Right, this is, again, why really I should try these things out before coming on camera. But, I mean, having said that, hopefully, you know, this is helpful to some people who maybe would be, you know, trying the things that I have tried, you know, just dabbing a bit of glue in the middle and then you find it doesn't work so yeah maybe this is kind of of, of use to somebody right okay I'm going to have to wait for that to dry again now wondering what will happen with these because of course I probably didn't apply that glue right to the middle let's have a go shall we 
So I'm changing back to my straight stitch and I'm just going to go around there. Okay, so yeah, pretty much having the same problem <clears throat> in that my sewing machine's not really wanting to do this. I mean, maybe if I used a wax thread or something like that, it would maybe help, um, you know, I mean, I don't think I've really got any wax thread, to be honest, to try that. Um, but I'm just thinking of kind of other things that might actually just help with this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's moving that straight away, which is, you know, going to just look shockingly rubbish, you know. Ah if I can force it through but the piece is too small I've not got enough um you know that I can grip or grab onto so let's just go like that and then just see if I can force that round so okay so I've had a little bit more success on this oh right at least I've done one there we go so a bit more success on that but, I mean, mainly it was quite difficult because the piece was very tiny to be able to kind of push it through the sewing machine. So let's try this one. Now I've got a horrible feeling I'm going to muck this one up completely as well. But hey, let's give it a try. I mean, the bonus of this one, it is at least a bit bigger, you know, to be able to kind of like push and pull it through. So, yeah, that definitely is helping. Okay, so I think part of the problem here is if they're very tiny, you, you know, you're not going to be able to pull them through very easily. Um, so, yeah, that definitely, I would say, is an issue. Um, and on top of that, if there's any slight tears in the waxproof paper, it's going to just get caught. And... Um, yeah, probably another tip would be try and glue them sort of closer to the edge, really. So, right, let's just cut that away. Okay, so I mean, I could now glue my um, label here. So, shall I quickly try that? Probably going to mark this up now. You know, I've managed to actually get it on there sufficiently, and now I'm going to go in and try and muck it up. just it looked a bit weird because it had stitching around the bottom of the label and not at the top so I thought well actually it needs just a bit of consistency there okay let's just take that out okay so I mean that one I I love that just looks really really pretty um yeah so I think maybe I'm struggling with the other ones. They're very, very tiny. So sorry, I just knocked my camera there. So they're very, very tiny. So I don't think that's helping. Now I'm going to try my best to kind of stitch around here. I suspect I'm going to mark this up again because this one's just been one disaster after another so far. So oh, touch wood. It's... Oh, I spoke too soon. I was thinking, oh, it's, it's working. But no, I've obviously not got glue under this piece. And so, of course, now... Again, it's not really working on there. So I'm just going to try and just stitch this piece here. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see that. There wasn't obviously enough glue on there. Or, you know, the glue hadn't dried. Um, so as soon as I went in, obviously this then has moved around. Does not want to stay stuck at all. Um, let me just put a bit of glue in here. Oops, so sorry now, I've knocked my glue off. Right, okay, I mean, definitely this is a piece that's seen better days and you're probably thinking, why is she even still bothering with this piece? Why doesn't she just bin it? But <laughs> still hoping that I would be able to use this somewhere. I know, you probably think, what's wrong with this woman? Why is she trying to just still salvage this? Right, okay, let me move my sewing machine back now. I'm not going to... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to make you all watch any more painful process here. But I just want to kind of show you a little bit how these would look if you were to use them on something. So, I mean, obviously this one has been a complete disaster, but I'm going to show you how this one would look. So as you can see that hopefully, you know, even though this has been shockingly awful, 
I could cover this section with, say, a butterfly or something like that. And I could still potentially use that on something. So let me just have a look and see what I've got here beside me. Okay, I mean, obviously these are not the ideal pieces. But for instance, here, you know, I can't even remember what I was doing with this. I must have been making an envelope. You know, I could still have this on the envelope. I could have a butterfly here, a butterfly here to kind of cover up the tatty bits. And it would still work perfectly well, wouldn't it? I mean, I've got another piece here. Again, I could just stick that on there, a butterfly. You know, it still works fine, doesn't it? But I'm just going to show you one of the pieces that obviously turned out much better. So, for instance, this. Isn't that just such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece? I mean, really, really super pretty, isn't it? So, you know, if you get them, <laughs> if you get them right... I mean, obviously, it just is going to require a bit more practice. And, yeah, I obviously should have practiced this before coming to do the video. But, you know, and it might be that actually glue is just the way to go and try, you know, not stitching and things like that. But, I mean, they're lovely pieces, aren't they? So I think they're definitely worth kind of um, persevering and kind of trying to play and, you know, do something more with. I mean, I'm just going to show you one more that I'm just going to glue now. So I'll just move these out of the way. So let's just bring in like one more and oops I don't think I've now got a piece that's going to be small enough okay well let's do this one instead yeah it's going to be the same same size as that one oh dear no I don't like that on there so much hold on a second sorry about this guys um so I'm just going to bring in like the coffee dyed one because I much prefer the coffee dyed paper with these birdie ones. So, I mean, this one, for instance, I will just glue this one down. And my Fabri-Tac is, you know, again, it's in better days. I'm very gloopy, so just please excuse that. But I'm just going to then stick that down there. You know, not even bother with any stitching or mucking about on the sewing machine and you know how pretty is that and then again obviously you could just dress that up with you know for instance a little bit of lace so and just cut that down to size I mean could staple now at this point could just staple a bit of lace on there or something that would look quite pretty and then Again, we could just incorporate like a little label on here. So I've just got one here at the bottom that might be ideal for this. So let's just take that on. Okay. Like that. Oh, come on. You know and could just kind of dress it up just with like the label and the lace and how gorgeous is that so again just to kind of demonstrate how that would look <clears throat> for instance on here isn't that just so gorgeous really really lovely I mean you might be wondering why would you bother um you know waxing these I mean it's kind of just for different textures and different you know different techniques and different things to use really um and of course you know you could just use these as they are in your journals anyway and of course I have got lots more of that wax paper left now so I am going to give it some more thought of how else to use it and um, hopefully come back and do some more things with this but um, yeah I hope that you like them and um, yeah I hope you have fun if you decide to make some hopefully yours will go better than mine uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon thanks then bye